the double slit experiment will not make sense until we have a fundamental understanding of time. Because of this, I have been working on my own theory called quantum atom theory. In quantum atom theory, atoms create their own time out of nothing more than photons of light and electrons. When a photon comes in contact with an electron on the surface of an atom, there is a photon-electron coupling. The wave particle duality of the light will collapse into a moment of time and space. Then there is a quantum leap of energy creating a new wave particle function of future possibilities. We can see this process of the forming and collapsing of the quantum wave particle function happening all around us in our everyday lives. In this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight, the wave particle duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave particle duality of the light into moments of time and space. Because of this process, she has free will to create her own future reality within her own space-time. The best way to see this happen directly with light is the double slit experiment. The light will expand in all possible directions as a wave particle function. When it reaches the screen with the two slits, the photon will react with the electrons of the screen. This will collapse the wave particle duality of the light, creating new moments in time and new quantum particles in space. The part of the wave that does not come in contact with the screen will expand in all possible routes, going through both slits. When this wave particle function comes in contact with the screen, it will collapse, creating moments of time and quantum particles in the shape of an interference pattern. When the observer tries to determine which slit a photon passes through, the interference pattern collapses. This is because to observe the photon, we have to create a photon-electron coupling, collapsing the wave function, creating a new moment in time and a new particle in space. Just like in Newton's first law of motion, the interference pattern will continue to maintain its state unless acted upon by an external force.